Yo, this is your boy Ringo, back again with a new video, Ringo TV Raw, another day at the office. Today's topic, what I want to deal with, is a quote that Malcolm X made that many women will use to pretty much make black men look like they have issues and they have problems. Now, I've seen this quote posted somewhere, and it's being used as a beacon light for a movement by women. And I want to analyze this quote, and then I want to go into some facts on the conditions of women today to see if women pretty much are doing very well for themselves to show the difference between whether women are contributing to their own demise or is it black men that are trying to degrade, defame, and bash black women. Let's read the quote by Malcolm X. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. Now, when you hear that quote, it sounds very nice. But let's examine why the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. Let's find out why the most unprotected person in America is the black woman. Let's find out why the most neglected person in America is the black woman. Why? Why? That's the question. I'll tell you why. Because the black woman is very rebellious. The black woman don't want to take any criticism. The black woman do not respect the black man. And I don't know about you, but if you're a woman and you don't respect a man, don't expect for that man to protect you. Don't expect for that man to respect you. Don't expect for that man to actually take care of you. You will be neglected. Those are the facts. You see, when a woman behaves herself, when a woman is humble, when a woman is loyal, when a woman is virtuous, she won't be disrespected. You see, women who feel disrespected are women who disrespect themselves and therefore they don't get respect. There is an old saying, a very old saying, if you want respect, you have to give respect. And when we look at today's black woman, she don't give men no respect, but yet she expects respect. That doesn't make any sense. You have to first give respect and then you'll be respected. Not only that, you have to live a respectable life and people will take you seriously. Now, why would a man protect a woman who don't even respect him? Why would men in general want to respect or protect black women when black women are not even loyal to their own men. Let's think and be logical. Why would Malcolm X say the most disrespected person in America is the black woman? Do you think he was saying that because he was against all black men and he was against black men on YouTube and he was against black men? No, 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 no. What he was fighting for and what he was dealing with when he made that quote was against white supremacy. And this is where black women twist Malcolm X's quote and try to make it seem as if though Malcolm X was directing that quote towards black men who are not protecting black women or black men who are disrespecting black women or black men who are neglecting black women. No, he was looking at this thing from a different point of view. When Malcolm X made that quote, he was looking at the conditions of where black women is in terms of how they are disrespected by the white race. He was concerned about how they were unprotected in society because no one cared about the black woman in terms of the white race who was very racist towards black women. He was concerned about how black women were neglected by America because he didn't say the most disrespected person by black men 
he ain't say that black men were responsible. He was talking about it in America. So to all black women who love using Malcolm X's quote to push your movement, please rethink and use somebody else's quote. Because Malcolm X quote was directed at white supremacy. Malcolm X's entire movement was against white people. He referred to white people as devils. So if you're gonna use that Malcolm X's quote, you need to also use his quote where he referred to um, white people as devils as well. Because if, if you're not gonna use that quote, then you're just picking and choosing what you want to use, which is typical of what Christians do when it comes to Bible scriptures. They take scriptures, twist them, and make them into something that they're not. So when we think about the most disrespected person in America, we need to examine how do black women actually conduct and live their lives? Black women do not correct their own. Black women will see each other do evil and wickedness and don't say nothing. Don't say one word. When you look at World Star, you'll see ratchetness like never before. You'll see black women doing all kinds of crazy things, but do they check one another? Do they correct one another? No, they disrespect them, their own selves in the public eye. You'll have singers and, and singers, rappers and so forth who are very disrespectful black women who are out here making other black women become just as wicked as they are. But do black women say anything? No, they say nothing. And they wonder why they're disrespected. Like who will take you serious? The world don't take black women serious. That's why Mac Malcolm X says the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The black woman need to be in order. She's out of order. She don't listen to no one. No one could tell the black woman anything because in her eyes, you're bashing her. You're putting her down. You're putting her down by trying to correct her. I find that to be very, very stupid. Because if someone cares about you, they're gonna tell you about the things you're doing is wrong. So don't use Malcolm X's quotes. Don't use nothing Malcolm X says. Because what you're doing is you're taking his words and you're trying to use it for your movement to try to make it seem as if though black men today, because they make videos talking about black women, that for whatever reason, they're the ones who are against black women. No, it's the white man who is against you. It's the white man who raped you during slavery. Let's not forget about that, black woman. It's the white man who enslaved you. It's the white man who beat you. It's the white man who raped you. It's the white man who made you have babies and took your babies away from you right after you gave birth and threw those babies in slavery. It's the white man who used your babies as alligator bait. But where is the movement of black women protesting? Where is the black woman rising to the occasion against the white man? who done all these atrocities, but yet the black woman does and say nothing about white people. Why? Because black women are in bed with white people and they're in bed with white people to be against the black man. And you wonder why you are neglected. You wonder why you're unprotected. You wonder why you're disrespected. It's because you don't respect the man. And if you don't respect the man, don't expect for there to be a plan to rescue you. You're not gonna be saved, you're not gonna be rescued, and no one won't ever protect you. As I said in my previous video, we're moving in a time where black men are no longer going to deal with you. You are gonna be in a world where there will be no protection for you. And guess who you can blame for that? Yourself. Because if you want to be this independent black woman thinking that you can talk negative of men, think that you can just say what you want, not realizing man is the muscle of the family. Without that man, you have no protection. And if you think white people are going to protect you, think again. The white man don't give a damn about you black women. And that's real. The Asian man don't give a damn about you black women. The Russian man don't give a damn about you black women. No one on this earth cares about black women. And the reason why is because black women have eaten the forbidden fruit and she made herself pretty much an ally with Satan. And because of that, she is now reaping all of the, the madness that the devil had planned for her from the beginning in the Garden of Eden. 
She turned against the black man, and now she feel like she's the most disrespected woman on earth, but yet she never looks at her actions. She never looks at the way she lives. She never looks at her attitude. She never looks at anything she say or do. As far as she's concerned, she's never wrong. And if you tell her she's wrong, you're bashing her. If you try to correct a black woman, you're a bad person. If you try to, do, um, we call it, give a black woman any sort of education, she look at that as you're defaming her. You're trying to degrade her. You cannot speak to these women. Therefore, they're unprotected. Because they want to be unprotected. And I'm telling you, we're moving in a day where you're going to see more and more issues happen with black women in these streets. And black men are not going to care. And I don't blame them. They shouldn't care. I do not care about no woman who disrespect me. Listen, if you're a black woman and you dis disrespect me, neglect me, and think that my words aren't important when I'm trying to teach you something, then hey, I don't care about you. Real talk. And I got much love for black women. But now, if you're not going to take heed to my words and obey, listen, and humble yourself as a woman of class and moral excellence, you don't deserve respect. You don't deserve to be protected. Because I don't protect women who don't want to be protected. If I'm trying to give you truth, that's me trying to protect you from the judgment to come. But if you don't want to hear that, you're going to be neglected. Real talk. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman because the black woman is very disrespectful by herself. She lives a crazy life. She lives a ratchet life. She does. She goes places and does things with her girlfriends. She drinks. She clubs. She sleeps around. She have babies out of wedlock with different men. She's bouncing around from man to man, going here and there and there, in and out of the hospital, venereal diseases. You name it. She does this to herself. Nobody disrespects the black woman like the black woman. The black woman disrespects herself. You understand? The reason why the black woman is unprotected is because she don't want a husband. She just want to jump from man to man to man, bounce around, have a bunch of boyfriends in and out of different relationships, and she's wonder why she's unprotected. Why would anyone protect a woman who is not stable? Why would anyone protect a woman who is not valuable? Men protect that which is valuable. Men protect that which is quality. A man is not going to um, pretty much protect a disrespectful, unloyal, uh, a woman who is just argumentative, a woman who don't know how to take criticism, a woman who don't know how to sit her ass down and literally be quiet and listen to a man's leadership. A woman who don't know how to do that will never be protected. It's just that simple. You understand? The most neglected woman, the most neglected person in America is the black woman. Neglected because of what? Because she don't listen. I keep telling you, if you don't obey that man, you will be neglected. He's not going to care for you. He's not going to take care of you. Listen, if I see black women in the street, right, and they're acting ratchet and they're acting crazy, and I don't see black women correcting their own women, what that says about them? That says a lot. You understand? So people out there need to wake up and realize that all of this foolishness with black women online talking about black men are degrading them and black women, are, black men are disrespecting them because they make videos sharing their opinions about different issues. These are women who are very bitter. These are women who just don't want no man to speak about nothing because these women don't want leadership. And I'm here to tell you, if you're a woman and you don't want to hear no man's voice, don't go around talking about black women are unprotected. Don't go around talking about black women are neglected. Don't go around talking Talking about black women are disrespected you don't want to listen to a man lead you don't want to listen to a man correct you you don't want to listen to a man guide you you will be neglected you will be unprotected and you will be disrespected by this entire earth because no other race on earth respects black women if you think white people respect you as black women think again they don't care about you asians don't care about you mexicans don't care about you nobody cares about you no one cares about you because they see you on the front street on social media all day acting a fool all you do all day is run your mouth all you do all day is disrespect your man and you wonder why you are neglected you wonder why nobody comes to your rescue you wonder why no one cares because in your eyes you want to be a man you want to be both the man and the woman you can't even be a man in a relationship with a black woman because she want to control you. She want to rule over you. She want to pretty much make all the decisions and have you sit in the back burner pretty much under her feet. That's how they are. And that's what they want. So when Malcolm X made that quote, 
That quote was directed at the so-called white supremacy, the white nations, all of the people who are racist and are against black women. He was on the front line trying to protect the black woman. He was on the front line to protect the black man. He was a leader. Do you understand? So when he made his quotes, he didn't make his quotes against black men. Not at all. He made his quotes against the racist establishment and how they were treating black women. And for you as a black woman to try to use Malcolm X's quote against black men goes to show that you don't even know anything about Malcolm X. You're just trying to use him to attack black men. All of you so-called black women who are using Malcolm X's quote against black men, shame on you. Because Malcolm X's quote was against white people. White people who raped black women, white people who done evil to black women, white women, white men who, who neglected, disrespected, and, and, and wouldn't try to protect black women in, under circumstances of violence. That was what Malcolm X was doing in that speech. In no way, shape, or form did Malcolm X direct that quote towards black men. You understand? That was a, a message he made to let, uh, let the white man know that if you disrespect our women, if you rape our women, we are going to kill you. That is what Malcolm X was doing. So why are black women in social media are trying to use Malcolm X's quote to try to use that against black men, but they're not using that very same quote against ghetto gaggers. They're not using that very same quote against the news media. They're not using that very same quote against all of the movie uh, production companies who constantly make black films depicting black women in the most disgusting and vile manner. You don't see black women doing it. You don't see black women lining up in front of Ghetto Gaggers headquarters quoting Malcolm X. You don't see them doing that. But when it comes to black men on YouTube, black men on Facebook, these very same women feel that, you know what? We need to all gather uh, uh, you know, together and band together against black men. But they don't gather together against the very racist people who constantly degrade them, constantly put them down. White people do not care about black women. That was the goal of Malcolm X in that speech. For anyone who want to see his speech, go into the link in the description area and look at that video clip. Look at that video and you will see Malcolm X's speech where he quoted that very same quote. The very same women who are against black men on YouTube, false flagging videos, are using that very same Malcolm X quote, trying to use that against black men, trying to say that, well, the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The black woman disrespect her own damn self. Just look at the way black women are living today. That is why black men speak in videos. Black men are speaking because they're tired of seeing their women degrade themselves. Black men are not degrading you. You are degrading yourself. When you take yourself and you go on ghetto gaggers, you are degrading yourself. When you go to the strip club and stripping and sliding up and down a pole as a black woman, you are degrading yourself. When you act the fool and ratchet in the street, you are degrading yourself. A black man is not degrading you. When you as a black woman put yourself in those conditions and live your life like that, you're not going to get any respect from anyone. And furthermore, what you black women must understand is that when you disrespect yourself, when you don't carry yourself like a lady, don't expect nobody to respect you. You understand? That's real talk. Don't expect no man to protect you when you are a wild woman acting crazy in the street. And then you want to get mad at brothers who are on YouTube who are trying to get you women in line. And that's a damn shame that you would say that I'm bashing black women when I'm trying to teach you women how to become better women. That is the very same thing Malcolm X was doing. You think Malcolm X was here playing games? Malcolm X was leading the people 
Malcolm X was about the love for black people. Every speech he made was against the so-called white man. Every speech he made was designed to protect the black woman and the black man. And when he made that speech by saying the most disrespected person in America is the black woman, he was, di he was directing that to all of the atrocities that white people were doing towards black women. Black women were being raped. Black women was being um, attacked physically and police would not protect black women in those days. You don't have no understanding of history and it's a damn shame that any of you women and any of these so-called brother sisters whatever type of madness sisterhood movement you got going would dare use Malcolm X's quote would dare even mention his words and you have no idea about the magnitude of what those words meant. When he said the most unprotected person in, a, in America is the black woman, he's not talking about how black men and black women are today in relationships. He was talking about how black women in those days were unprotected by the system when it came to violence and rape against them from the white man. When he said the most neglected person in America is the black woman is because of white supremacy. You have no idea what you are talking about when you use that man's quote. And then after you quote his quote, you want to talk about how, oh, you know, this is because of the epidemic of black whatever, whatever. And, you know, the disrespect and degrading and harassing and unlawful. Because I saw some crap online on a so-called uh, Patreon or GoFundMe page. And it quoted something along the lines of black women and girls are not seen as human. This is an epidemic that allows disgruntled black men, notice black men, to create degrading, harassing, unlawful and menacing YouTube channels and videos harassing black women and girls and particular abuse is heaped on black women who are professionals, single and successful. Listen, all of that is hogwash. Because Malcolm X's quote had nothing to do with that. And it's a damn shame that black women are so focused on the so-called black man who are on YouTube making videos and they're accusing these men of harassing them. And you know what's so funny, people? This whole harassing stuff have to do with one man that had an issue with one woman. And that man and that woman had whatever issues they had. That's between them two. This have nothing to do with me. This have nothing to do with nothing that I do because I don't make videos. I don't make 20,000 videos about one woman. I don't make no videos airing out no woman's dirty laundry. I don't make no videos doxing no woman. I don't make no videos calling out no woman names. I don't make no three, four hour series about one woman. I don't do that. I don't got time for that. So all of this harassment crap, all of this degrading garbage, and all of this unlawful medicine YouTube channels that you women are speaking of, you need to direct that nonsense to the people that do that to you. If I didn't do nothing to you, if I don't call your name, if I don't say nothing about you and your family, leave me alone. You understand? Because now you're harassing me. Now you're harassing the brothers. Now you're doing the very same thing that you claim you're fighting against. You're doing that to other people. What does that make you? It makes you a hypocrite. You understand? So be very mindful that when you use Malcolm X's quote, that quote is not designed for you to be trying to use it against black men. You understand? Because the black men, the real black brothers on YouTube who make videos about black issues, they talk about black men and black women. Do you understand? And they teach you to become better people. You don't like it because whatever they say applies to you. You call that harassing. How could someone be harassing you when you are watching their videos? That doesn't make no sense. If they're not calling your name, why are you so in your feelings? Why are you trying to make those guys out to be someone who is so bad and yet you wonder why? No one respects you, why no one protects you, and why you're neglected is because you don't respect the black man, and that is the truth. And we as a people are so lost. We have so much white supremacy and racism in this world where the other nations don't give a damn about us, and yet you black women are so focused on a damn YouTube channel because a brother has an opinion? But yet, you don't gather together and go down to ghetto gaggers and march and protest and boycott that company to shut them down for degrading black women? You don't do that? You don't raise no gun GoFundMe so you can gather the sisters together so that y'all can go to ghetto gaggers headquarters so that you can shut them down? Why don't you do that? 
Where is your power in that? Where is all the black women attorneys for that? Where are all of the attorneys? Where are all the black women that band together to go to Ghetto Gaggers headquarters and say, look, we're tired of you men degrading our women. Why aren't you going to the white men who are degrading black women through ghetto gaggers? Why? Why are you not doing that? Because you give the white man a pass. The white man is degrading your women over and over. They're degrading them. They're bashing them. They're not protecting them. They're doing the very thing that Malcolm X was against. In Malcolm X's speeches, he said, if you rape our women, we're going to kill you. That is what Malcolm X said. He was talking about white men. And the very same thing that Ghetto Gaggers is doing is what Malcolm X was fighting against. And you black women can't even see that because you hate the black man. This is a damn shame. And this is why I'm making this video. Why black women in America are not going down to every strip club, every nightclub, and boycott. Why they're not doing that? Why black women are not banding together to go to every strip club, walk in there, and teach all the black women that are swinging on poles that they don't have to swing on poles, that they can actually go get a real job rather than being a hoe? Why aren't black women doing that? If you feel that black women are being degraded, how come black women aren't doing anything for the black community in terms of cleaning up the whoredom that is going on in the community. Why? Where is the power that you black women on social media who flag channels down, where is your power when it comes to going into establishments where black women are clearly degrading their own damn self? Where is your power to go in there and say, sister, you don't have to be on a club, in a club, you know, swinging on a pole. You don't have to be selling your body as a hoe. You don't have to be on, you know, some old site selling your body and posting pictures on Instagram. You don't got to be doing that as a black woman. Where are all the sisters to teach the women that they don't got to do this? I'm preaching, man. I'm trying to teach you. Just like I said in my previous video, the brothers on YouTube who speak truth regarding issues in the black community, we are the prophets of today. You understand? And I'm not speaking technically in a biblical way, but we are the men of truth today who are guiding the people. And if black men today are not seen and respected as men of truth who are guiding the people and you women neglect this truth, you are going to be alone in the coming future. I'm here to warn you, if you are a black woman and you hate truth and you look at brothers like me as if though all I'm doing is bashing black women when I'm trying to guide your ass out of the fire, I'm trying to teach you how to do things and you are neglecting that, something is wrong with you. You really have to wake up and recognize that this truth is real. If you care so much about black women, you need to go out there to the strip clubs, to the nightclubs, to ghetto gaggers, to all the porn sites, to all of the pimps. You need to go and rescue those black women and stop wasting your damn time worrying about some man on YouTube making a video sharing his opinion. Where is the Million Women's March? Where women march together and band together and say to themselves that they're not going to be hoes no more. Where is the Million Women's March where women are teaching women to keep their damn legs closed? Where is the Million Women's March where they're going to teach women not to abort their babies? Where is the Million Women's March where they teach women how to respect themselves and how to be wives and how to save their virginity from marriage? Where is the damn Women's March? You want to talk about love? We black men in YouTube who make videos about truth, we care about the community. How dare you as a black woman try to erase our memory? How dare you try to erase us from the community and label us as bashers of black women? We are the teachers of black women. We are the heads of black women. And if you don't feel you need a man to guide and lead you, don't talk about Malcolm X's quote 
about being disrespected and unprotected and neglected when you don't want a man to lead your ass. I'm out. Peace.